Okay, so hopefully at least some of you have been able to figure out why the ice curve is going to be steep. Uh, let me just write down the ice curve here. So the way we have defined ice curve is by y equals to a function of private savings, which depends on uh, consumption, tax, the policy rate, future expected consumption, future expected uh, tax, and uh, future expected policy rate. This plus G. This is what we had. Uh, actually, no, not instead of consumption, we've, we've got Y output. Okay, this is what we had. Now, think about uh, the change in uh, policy rate, okay? So, suppose uh, the government impose an, it's an expansionary monetary policy, which means that R falls from let's say from RA to RB okay what does this mean this means that in this period in current period the interest rate is going down right okay this is the policy rate for only one period and that is the important thing once we add expectation into the mix we have to think about all the future uh, rates right next period and the period after that and the period after that and the government is changing the interest rate or the policy rate let's say the government changes it for this year 2021 but then if our expectation of uh, 2022, 23, 24, 25, this doesn't change as well. All that happens is that R falls for this period, then are we going to change our uh, behavior too much? Not really, we will change it only a little bit. That's why even if interest rate of this period falls by a large amount if we expect no changes to occur in the future periods output in the current period will not change by a lot okay so this is the first point is that government can only change the policy rate of this period but not future periods second point same thing is remember the multiplier effect if output changed in this period there would be a multiplier effect like this output means someone's income is going up as a result that person spends more which is income for someone else and so that second person also spends more because of higher income which is income for a third person so on and so forth and through the multiplier effect what we would see is that the you know the change in y multiplier but in this case the multiplier will be small because why because of course only y is changing not future expected income, right? So effectively, it's the same point is that when the government changes the policy rate, the, either it be an expansionary or a contractionary monetary policy, they can only change the interest rate and effectively the income for this period. But once we've included expectation into the mix, uh, for there to be a large enough change, we also need the expectation to change. If 
people have to expect that this fall in interest rate is not just for this period, but also the future. Without that, there will not be, uh, there will only be a small change. Okay. So think about that for uh, a while longer. In the next video, we'll talk more about monetary policy.